Well, joining me now is Labour peer and campaigner for refugees and asylum seekers, Lord Alf Dubbs, and the Conservative MP, Tim Loughton. Tim Loughton first. The Calais MP, Pierre-Henri Dumont, asked how many more tragedies will it take for the British to regain an ounce of humanity? What is your answer to that question? Well, the first thing to say, Cathy, is this is a real tragedy, and I thought so with the family of the young Sudanese boy, and particularly with the friend of his who was fortunately picked up. Uh, I'm just gobsmacked, and I've I've heard uh, Pierre-Henri Dumont say what he said today, and I was on a radio programme with him uh, the other day, blaming Britain for what is a French problem, and they think that they're going to solve the problem by making it a British problem. For him to say that they're doing everything they can day in, uh, day out, clearly they're not doing nearly enough. We have spent a fortune in taxpayers' money sending British police across to help patrol the borders, sharing intelligence to try and break some of these uh, people trafficking uh, gangs. We've paid for fences uh, and everything else. Now, that may help, but what will solve this problem is stopping them getting across the channel by the French authorities turning the boats back and taking them back to, to France or allowing British border force to take uh, the migrants back to, to France to make it very clear that if you're going to pay people smugglers, in most cases, a large amount of money to make a really dangerous journey, you're going to end up where you started. So it's not worth trying. Don't bother to do it again. And if we did that, okay, which Lord is what Dubs, the French let me, agreed let me bring to in, do, we would solve okay, it. Let me bring in Lord Dubbs to respond to that then. Um, I mean, you fled the Nazis age six. You were given refuge in Britain. Do you think that Britain has lost its humanity? Well, we could we could be doing better, but I, I am shocked by what the, what this French politician said. Uh, I mean, bl blaming it all on Britain. I, I I think the only way to deal with this is to for us to cooperate with the French, to help the French even more to catch the traffickers. But at the same time, we should say to the French, and we're willing to take some of the young people who are there, particularly if they've got family here, and we need better French cooperation in order to do that. So I think the more legal paths there are to safety, the less likely it is that people will resort to this dangerous crossing across the channel. Well, Tim Loughton, isn't that the point, that it's got to be a cooperative thing between Britain and France? And as there is this political spat going on, lives are at stake, as, we, as we've tragically seen today. Uh, I agree. And look, Alf and I are on the same side on, uh, on this. Alf and I have visited refugee camps in Jordan. We've seen uh, Syrian uh, refugees. We've been to the United uh, Nations to plead this uh, case. He and I are trying to extend the family reunion scheme to make sure that there are more safe uh, routes. But look, we've got a pretty good record on, uh, on this. The UK has been taking more refugees, genuine refugees from outside the EU, genuinely escaping war zones than any other EU country since 2016. We've taken over 25,000, uh, including under the, uh, the Dubs uh, scheme, which uh, Alpha initiated. And we've been taking genuinely vulnerable um, people. Over half of them have been uh, children. What is happening now is people who are getting into boats, in many cases paying £4,000 to people traffickers, are effectively queue jumping genuine asylum seekers who, who we owe a debt to and will, can give a safe passage and a safe home to because they go through the proper processes. And frankly, okay. it's appalling that the French are allowing people to endanger their lives. That's where the lack of humanity is, I'm afraid. Lord Dubbs, it's the people smugglers that, who are the bogeymen here. The UK government has got a proud record on this. Do you agree with that? Well, look, I agree with Tim on many things, but, but I think we, we, we could have a prouder record than we have. Uh, we've taken fewer than I thought we should have done. Uh, we could take more if we had more of a commitment. Uh, we, shouldn't, we can't take everybody, but we, we, can do, we can do a bit more and take our share of responsibility. That's, that's all I'm arguing. But the particular, the particular issue is often those young people who've got family here. And there's some of those uh, in Northern France and indeed on the Greek islands. And if we've got family here, surely everybody would agree family reunion is the right thing. And we should help them to come and join their families over here. Then we can take some of the others. And Tim Loughton, that's... That, that's going to be much some... harder after Brexit, isn't it? Because of the, the family reunion has been diluted in the Brexit bill. Well, well, and that's why um, Alf and I are on absolutely the same side of this, that we want to make sure that the family reunion scheme, which operates now under Dublin, can operate uh, in the same terms uh, after, after Brexit. Uh, but look, remember also 
we've spent two and a half billion pounds, I think it, uh, it is, a British taxpayer's money helping Syrian refugees and others in those um, uh, refugee camps in Jordan and Turkey, places close to uh, Syria, giving them really important uh, help, more than any other country bar the, uh, the US. And most of the people who we are giving safe passage and a safe home to in the UK are some of the most vulnerable people, particularly young uh, children, taken from those camps and put in homes to make a second chance of a, a safe upbringing in the, uh, in the UK. And that's something I'm really proud of. Doing it this way, uh, and I think we, sh we could extend that, and I agree with uh, um, uh, Alf, we might be a bit more uh, generous, absolutely. We are already the most generous in Europe. But allowing these boats to come uh, across in such a dangerous uh, way, allowing people to queue jump and being accused of lacking humanity by the French authorities who are allowing unaccompanied vulnerable children to roam around Cali. If that were happening in Dover, we would have picked them up. They would be in the care of social services and we would have registered all those people and we'll be processing their applications. That should be happening Tim. in France now. They're just trying to make their problem our problem. Of course, we need to cooperate, but don't blame us for goodness sake. Just a final word, very briefly, Tim Loughton, on the rhetoric, the talk of an invasion. It's shameful. Do you agree with the words used by your Conservative colleagues, including the Home Secretary? Look, uh, we could also say the, the words that um, Mr Dumas used about lacking uh, humanity and British carelessness and everything else um, don't, uh, don't help. And the talk of gunboats and things like that is not really an answer to the, to the problem. We have been cooperating. We have been working with the French authorities. We have been uh, paying the, the, the French authorities to try and tackle uh, this problem. But the underlying problem is that people think there's a good chance they can get across the, the channel. That is a pull factor. Making it even easier, as the French now, uh, now want, would mean that Mr Dumont wouldn't just have thousands of people in his constituency in Calais, he would have tens of thousands of people a uh, chance going around to get across the, uh, the channel. It's completely the wrong uh, solution. The French just need to take these people back to have them processed in French territory, safe territory as it, as it is, and their future okay. decided. And those who have a legitimate case to be in the UK can claim asylum and come to the, uh, come to the UK, but do it the right way. Tim, Tim Loughton, Lord Dubbs, thank you both very much for joining me.